Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to continue on in our personality quiz. And I have our steps open of what we're going to accomplish in this particular lesson. So we're going to work on displaying um, the results to our players. All right. So this is what we're going to do in this lesson. Uh, first of all, we are going to uh, create a next question function. And that's number one. Number two is we're going to initialize an empty collection that stores the player's answers. We're going to create an IV action uh, for the single answer button pressed. And we're also going to create a switch statement for the single answer button pressed uh, action as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first is creating a simple next function. And I already have it up here. So this is what we're going to do. So right underneath this comment here that I have, we're going to just do this. We're going to say funk and we're just going to say next question and we're going to leave it empty right now the reason i'm why i'm doing this now is because if you don't do it right now you're going to just have you know the red uh warning um symbols everywhere or errors and we don't want that so i just created this empty function we'll add to it later on in a few more videos all right so we got that done. Um, number two for this video is to initialize an empty collection that stores the player's answers. And so we need to, we need a way uh, to to store everything that the user, um, you know, uh, gives or, or responds to in the app, all of their answers. And so all we're going to do is create a collection, an array, an empty array uh, for that. And you'll see why here in a little bit. All right. So this is what we're going to do. So I got um, this right underneath the properties area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say var uh, chosen answers. And it's going to be of type um, answer. I'm just going to do an empty array. All right, got that. Number three, what we're going to do, I have it down here, is we need to create an IB action called single answer button pressed of type UI button and we're going to connect all four buttons in the single stack view to the same control. So that's what we're going to do. So with uh, questions VC highlighted over here in the document outline, I'm going to hold option and click on the main dot storyboard to open up the assistant editor. And I am going to we're going to do just that. So our single answer button press I got the multiple open right now. So I've got the single open now. And so I'm going to control click and drag from the first button uh, down there right underneath uh, number three I'm going to release it already says uh, action for me in this case I'm using the beta version of Mojave as you can see the the dark version on the screen I think it's pretty cool even though right now it's technically daytime for me but I like this dark version so I'm going to call it uh, we're going to say single button uh, our single answer button pressed all right we're going to change the type from any to UI button and the reason why we need that is because uh, we are trying to compare what button is pressed so if this if the first button was pressed we'll know to append that answer choice uh, to the to the answer chosen's uh, variable and so that's what that's why we want to change it from 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 any to UI button because we want to get real specific on what is being selected. All right. Um, and the next thing is is uh, we need to um, connect all four of the buttons there. So we've got um, the first button there, and so all we have to do now is we we can just drag from the plus sign. So as you can see, with the assistant editor still open, you can see that when you hover. Um, right on the uh, the uh, plus or the uh, connection sign here you can see that only the first button is connected so what we're going to do is just simply connect or just drag click and drag from this to button two single button two and now when you hover back over you got one and two highlighted and then we're going to do that again for three and four so three and then we have four all right so all so all four of those are connected and now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a switch statement for the single answer button pressed uh, and the IB action and create a constant to hold all the answers and go through each case for the four buttons. And then we're at the end, we're going to append the answers to answers chosen. 
answers chosen and then we're going to call the next question function all right so let's do that so I'm going to close out of the assistant editor let's go to standard editor and we're going to do just that so let's do this so we're going to say let current answers equals and we'll say question and then we'll say question index to get the number and then we'll say dot answers all right and now we need to do um, we need to do our switch statement right so let's do this so we'll say uh, we're gonna say switch sender sender and for our single answer uh, but we're gonna do this so we're gonna say case uh, and we'll say uh, single button one we'll do our colon hit enter and, we're, and we want to say um, chosen answers dot append and the new element is going to be current answers and then since this is the first button we'll say zero so whatever that was in that case all right and then next we're going to do the same thing so I'm just gonna make this easier on us I'm gonna copy and paste this a couple more times guys um, remember you got to make sure when you're doing it by this method you got to make sure that you're just doing it right so you gotta make sure you change everything so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go from single button one to two and we're gonna change our current answer from zero to one for this one we got three and then here we're gonna go from one or, or zero to two and then our last one's gonna be button four and then we're gonna go from two to three all right and so we've got all of that and then the last thing we need to do is um, we need to break out of this actually so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to say or we got to do a default case too so I'm just gonna say um, default default all right it has to be exhaustive and then we're gonna say break uh, to get out of it and then we're gonna call our next question function all right all right good so we are all set with this video guys stay tuned for the next lesson and we are going to get into our our multiple stack view um scenario or uh, connecting all those as well all right this is saint r edwards with swift coding for everyone thank you guys for watching happy coding to y'all and y'all take care